Hey there, fellow modelers. Uh, handy inscaler um, here, or handy southern inscaler, I should uh, correct myself. Uh, I'm here with my first uh, structure review. I'm going to try to uh, review my favorite structures that I'm going to be using uh, in this first module of my uh, southern railway that I have uh, reawakened. So uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, first, this is the first time I've kind of publicly talked about being the handy uh, southern inscaler. I say handy because uh, I'm actually handicapped, disabled. I have, uh, I've been a manual wheelchair user of 31 years, and I also want to use my channel to encourage other people with any type of disability to, to get into a, a hobby. This is a great hobby all the way around. But, um, I mean, especially, I have some limitations on my, uh, my hands, how well I can use my hands, but I still didn't let that get in the way of me uh, doing fine in-scale modeling. Uh, and I'm actually kind of proud of that. So I want to spread that uh, spirit around, hope other people might follow. Uh, but this is my first uh, structure review. So I am going for the InScale Architect uh, Long Valley Lumber. Um, this kit's been around for a while. I love this kit. This is my favorite uh, lumber uh, mill out there, uh, honestly. This kit is so well thought out. Uh, a lot of great details. It's just very real world. Uh, it's more model than, than, or far more model than, you know, sort of toy or whatever. Uh, it's, I, I really like it, and they're now actually producing it in Z scale for anybody watching. But uh, this is a very well executed kit. Uh, highly recommend it to uh, everybody. Uh, yep, so uh, there is the box. Also, I'm going to try to keep this to about uh, five minutes. I've been doing longer videos, so I'm going to try not to wear everybody out. So uh, without further ado, da -da 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 I'm going to turn it over. So here is the finished product. Bam. So this is, um, it really honestly is sort of a, a COVID production. I've been all cooped up uh, working uh, and this has gotten all of my, uh, my spare time. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, it's, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, actually, I'm really happy with it. Uh, things I could have done better, but still it's one of those models where uh, if you do mess up, it just sort of, I don't know, it adds to the old look. I wanted it to look rugged, so I didn't. Uh, pays much attention to some of the symmetry, especially of the windows. Um, but uh, honestly, it came out looking really, really great. Uh, you know, for my uh, limitations in my hands, uh, this is this is you know this is good for me. So, uh, yeah, I wish I could zoom in more on the detail uh, of uh, some of the uh, the finer details of it, but I'm happy with it. Um, just as I look at it, uh, I did a really good job of aging the. Uh, the, the metal roofs. This uh, kit comes with a great corrugated material. Uh, it's the realest corrugated or, or tin roofing material I've ever found. I'd actually like to write them and see where they got it. Uh, I was going to look at it for, um, look for it in some of my local hardware stores uh, as well. Um, so just see if I can find it. But yeah, this is the back of the building. You've got uh, sort of the production uh, overlay there uh, with the dock. Uh, you've got the, uh, the sort of boiler house. Uh, really worked to get those smokestacks symmet symmetrical and everything. Uh, I love that uh, wing on, on the top uh, with those extra little windows. I uh, actually put a hole up through the, the the whole roof that it's on so I could get an LED in there to, to light those up. Uh, I've got a couple of, uh, I believe, five millimeter uh, LEDs, uh, three or four actually, that are going to go in there uh, to really light it up. I'm actually going to turn it around in a minute. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's awesome. I'm also thinking I may use uh, a fire escape in that uh, tall uh, section sort of over here so i would really love to add uh, detail anywhere uh, anywhere that i can so um yeah so uh, that's the front uh, that is the uh i guess that's the uh, uh, sawdust loader there on the right i actually don't have uh, the mechanism in it i needed to uh, put that in there but i didn't before the video started but uh yeah i was real happy with what way that came out uh it's gonna look really good very uh you know, it looks very fragile, but it's actually very sturdy. Uh, actually, uh, screwed up a couple of the components of it and just used some of the spare twigs in the kit to sort of refurbish it. And I swear it actually came out better than the, uh, the way it's originally designed. So, um, yeah, let me uh, go ahead and spin here a little bit, get you a different view of the, the front. So there is sort of the uh, front of the mill with the... Uh, the lumber chute um, coming down. Love the detail on there. Um, love that little loading dock. Uh, I thought that really came out well. Um, yeah, it just uh, it just looks good all the way around. Went with a two-tone. Originally I was going to do a green, but I did like a darker gray 
Uh, and then so you can see the boiler house is more of a lighter gray. That's really just a, a primer um, color on there. So you know, let me get around to the, um, the other side. I think this is actually sort of my favorite side. Sorry, that noise, you can hear it uh, scratching the, uh, the glass there. But uh, yeah, there you go, the, the loading dock. Real happy with the way that, uh, uh, that rust came out uh, on that loading dock. Again, that's that corrugated metal roof. I went with their paper material for the, for the roof. Um, they were sort of the, the blowers go in. There's two blowers in the main roof and two blowers on the side that will eventually extend out to, um, you know, to the sawdust mechanism here uh, to feed it, um, like on the original, um, the original um, picture uh, on the box. So, but yeah, no, I can't wait to get some LEDs in this. Uh, lots of little details, that little, you know, house opening there on the, uh, on the, uh, uh, the log, uh, log shoot. Uh, yeah, no, it really came together well. I'll probably do one more video just to show it on the, um, on the layout, but um, this is a lot of like really nice little windows. Um, just a lot of geometric things that just catch the eye. This is a great, great kit. Uh, it's about, I think about a, seven or eight inch uh, footprint by about five or six. So it's, it's decent size, uh, but it's gonna fit just really, really nice on the, on the layout there. So uh, just to let y'all know, I also work on and collect old pinball machines. So uh, this may be my stage for future reviews. I've got a couple other machines. This is an old, uh, I believe it's a 70, uh, I think it's a 72 it's triple strike uh, made by Williams. Uh, I've just now got it a little bit up and running, got the power running through. I need to do some more work on it. Uh, but that's a, a future project, maybe a different video for another channel. <laughs> but anyway, um, so yeah, um, there we go. Uh, with the, uh, let me see if I can't uh, zoom in a little bit here. There we go. I'm kind of learning my new camera. But there's a little bit more detail uh, in there for you. So yeah, no, super happy. Actually, let me spin it around just so you can see the other side with the detail in it. So, here we go. Yeah, no, real, real happy with the, with the outcome there. So, yeah, so uh, happy railroading to everybody. Uh, thanks for joining, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm gonna try to get regular uh, once a week here. So, um, yeah, uh, be safe out there everybody and uh, enjoy this great hobby. Talk to you soon, thank you.